sensor, just like a regular pulse ox. You put that on, and then you'll turn the device on by pressing the power button. Right there, it shows you how many hemoglobin sensors you have available. And then it'll calibrate on my finger, once it's on my finger. And after it calibrates, the first thing that's gonna pop up is my perfusion index. So that's how well my site right here is circulating blood. So there's my perfusion, okay? So there's that number right there, there's the level. You'll press the up arrow, that'll get you your O2 sat. Mm -hmm. and then you'll press the up arrow again, that'll get you your pulse rate. And there's this bar right here, that green, that bar. As soon as it gets all the way up top, you'll hear a beep tone. And then once you hear that beep tone, you'll be able to press that SPHB button right there to get the non-invasive hemoglobin, that total hemoglobin value. And then once you can get that hemoglobin value, it'll show you the total hemoglobin and you'll be able to bill for that. The CPT code is 88738. Reimburses Medicare, Medicaid, $6.83. Commercial insurance, $5 to $7, okay? And like I said, you have your O2 sat, your pulse rate, and your perfusion. And as soon as that bar raises all the way up and beeps, you'll be able to get the SPHB button. You'll be able to get the hemoglobin value. Like I said, it takes about 35 to 40 seconds. So we'll wait for the beep tone. There's the beep, press the SPHB button, and there's my total hemoglobin value, right there, 15.1. Like in the top. 